Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where our economy is balanced. You know what that means. It's time to go to war. Now, I'm interested in attacking these guys, and I want to do it basically immediately. Are we still truce to them? I don't think so. No, we are absolutely not. So we can declare a total war on them, and that is absolutely something that we want to do. We don't have any claims. Yeah, we don't care. This is a total war. <laughs> Completely fine. So we're going to declare this. We have declared. Okay, and now the question is, how many of their fleets are in our systems? Not very many. Excellent. Now I'm just wondering if these guys... Are they going to be... They're members of the Star Concord. Yeah, so these guys are going to be hostile to us. Including these guys over here. Who are using our gateway. Okay. So we'll have to deal with that. And these guys are part of the Star Concord as well. So they will either... Oh, they, were, they were going to the gateway. They will die. Excellent. Of course, we are policing the L gate here. So that's perfect. Okay. We're going to need our Colossus to come on over this way. We're also going to need our armies. And where are our armies? Voidpool? Okay, that's fine. They can get up here in no time at all. 26 days, technically. So we will take the 6th combat fleet. We don't want to move the ether, the ether hatchling right now. And we're going to come up this direction. Actually, we're going to need to wait for a day before we can do that. Okay. Well, these guys are going to make their way down over this way. We're not quite in position for that. I probably was a little bit over eager to declare this. But it's fine. I don't see a problem here. So let's take this forward a day or two. Okay, that was only one day. Where is this battle currently happening? Okay, this is happening here. This should be no problem. Oh, hey, they just jumped a 94.4k fleet through here. Well, that's going to immediately die. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm absolutely fine with that. We're going to need to take forward one more day. A is the there we go. Excellent. So we've got this going on over here. These guys, they're going to want to get out of there. We're just going to jump them back to, say, Canopus will be fine. However, these guys are on their way in, and the gateway is up here. Whatever. If we lose a construction ship, I don't care. If we lose this system, however, I kind of do care. These guys are currently engaged in combat. This will not take them long to deal with. So we need to root out things like this. I probably should have closed borders to them before actually attacking. Ah, look at this. Look at all this that they have occupied. Fascinating. Okay, well, this is completely fine. Re in reality, we should probably have a gateway in Mestros, but it's okay. So they have a science ship here, that's not a concern. I'm going to utilize this fleet. Oh wait, they control form formal hout? Ah, uh, kinda. They kinda control formal hout. Okay, we're going to come over here, and then we're going to come back this direction. And we'll clean this up. We're going to need to take forward a little bit here. These guys are going to push into Abaddon's Domain, and then from there they're going to go this direction. Excellent. The 6th Combat Fleet, their goal is to come up this way, and essentially grab all of this over here, and then come back to Sanctuary. That's the idea here. We may need a second combat fleet up here to hold off anybody coming in this way. We'll see. Okay, so this was expected. We're going to come in over here, take these guys out. Okay, that's a space amoeba. That's not a concern. This station is still under construction. But it should be powerful enough to defend this for now. For the short amount of time that we'll be there. 
The station is These guys, are they actually going to... No, they can't the take this. They absolutely can't take this. That's good to know. This one, they might be able to take temporarily. But we're okay with that. Nothing going on over here for right now. Noted. A hostile station has been engaged. Yeah, we're going to have a couple of station losses here. We do expect this. So we're going to go ahead and take army health here. That's the cheapest. We're going to be jumping in over here, no problem. They're already up to 10% war exhaustion. Okay. <laughs> I imagine it was mostly this battle at Terminal Egress. Do we need to reinforce this fleet? Yes, we do. We also need to get them to re-enter orbit of the Elgate. Okay. There we go. Perfect. These guys have not managed to move yet. I'm a little bit upset about that. So yeah, we're just going to push up over here. No problem. These guys have not managed to take this out, and in fact, they're not going to. Okay, the 7th Combat Fleet can probably, honestly, you're only one jump away, can honestly come over this way. We're not going to have a problem with that. These guys can make their way back over this way. Wonderful. Straight craft attack speed. Let's do it. Okay, all of these guys should, I believe, be grouped up. Yep, exactly. Wonderful. So we are, of course, at war with the Federation here. And that will not be an issue. <laughs> we have no concerns whatsoever about it. This... I have concerns about. We're going to jump the 7th Combat Fleet here. Surprise! We have jump drives. Wait a second. Do we need to jump drive? We don't need to jump drive. We have gateways. What am I talking about? It'll take us 49 days to get there. That should, in theory, be okay. If it's not okay, then we'll jump drive. Yeah, it, it should be okay. So we have pushed in over here. And of course, we're not going to be able to take this without landing on it. So that's something. We're going to push up this way, though, for right now. Up here is our current primary focus. And yeah, they're going to probably try to take some of this back, but we don't actually care. We made it over here just fine without jump driving. And we have an army here. Why do we have an army here? Okay. We're just going to jump drive these guys up over here, assuming they get out in time. Actually, you know what? We're going to send them to the gateway. And we're going to just have them travel up this way. I don't think that they would jump out in time to avoid this. They need to start moving. Yeah, they didn't get out in time to even do that. That's okay. Our fleet is here. spaceport has been lost to the other side. And in theory, we won't lose too much. Okay. We lost a few units here, but that's okay. I don't really care that much. Niza Taram has its gateway. It's not like that's relevant, though. Excellent. I'm actually shocked that these guys haven't taken this station yet. This is actually a super weak fleet. They are going to succeed. But they're taking some hits. Okay. And it's taking them some time. Yeah, this was always expected. Technically, we could probably move in with our Juggernaut like this. We could probably hold it with our Juggernaut and Aether Drake. At least for temporaries. Okay, we're going to push in to Damiun over here. That is definitely something that we want. And we are, of course, doing a little bit of combat over here. Excellent. No problem whatsoever. We're just absolutely nuking these guys. For right now, we're going to pull back to Sinistra. And we're going to reinforce this fleet. 
Excellent. These guys are going to push in over here. <laughs> Their science ships are, are actually this science ship is still up. I like it. Army health has come up. We will grab army health again, actually. Okay, the Aether Drake has successfully taken this. Perfect. And we may actually want to push in with this fleet as well. That'll be fine. That'll be completely fine. Wonderful. So, of course, we are making progress here. These guys are just getting wrecked by the Aether Drake. Just totally wrecked. Okay. Actually, that may have been the Juggernauts. Yeah, that was mostly the Juggernauts fighters. I like it. Shield hit points. Sure. That's fine. We'll grab energy weapon damage next. And as far as engineering, there's so many more engineering repeatables than there are of the other types. It's kind of bonkers. Okay. We seem to be doing pretty well on various fronts. We could attempt to reduce our front over here. Not that this will do very much because this is the United Trading Pact and we're not going to get these systems from them, but I think it's okay. Not too concerned. So we'll do some combat with some space amoebas. That'll be fine. Necrophaging is of course happening. I'm just kind of abandoning our colonies for right now. I'll deal with them between episodes. That will be completely fine. For right now, this war needs to be run, of course. So the question is, just how much do we want to take? There's some awkward constellations over here. Although, these guys appear to be looking to attack us. So that pretty much gives us what we need in terms of our decision making. Let's go ahead and push to Thrimora. That's a fantastic location for us. And we'll do something like this. I mean, unfortunately, they have occupation over here that we re can't really do anything about. So that's fine. Additional combat is happening on several fronts here, and it's completely fine. So once we get back to Sanctuary over here, that's when we're going to bring in these guys and this guy. For now, we'll get in position. Actually, we don't even need to go that far. Siagawa Gateway has been constructed. Sure. Timed special project? Not like we care. <laughs> it's actually not relevant. Whoa, we lost a Corvette at some point. Rip. Okay, well that is fine. A study has been completed. Army health? Sure. We'll go for edict duration next. Okay. These guys are merging in. That's fine. We're gonna come on down. Once we have this under control, then we're gonna need to decide what we want next. Maybe to push through here? In fact, that might be something that we want to do right now. We can do something like this, and then backtrack and come over this way a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, FTL inhibitor. That'll be fine. Excellent. Admiral gains trait, sure. That's always a useful thing. Explosive weapon attack speed will be our next thing that we're going to get. These guys are currently doing what exactly? Suiciding against this this uh, starbase, I think. So we're going to take Sanctuary here. This is excellent. And then, of course, there's this location. This is Living Metal. Hang on a moment. What's happening here? Okay, the fourth combat fleet is just chilling. That's fine. So we should probably push up this direction, if I can mouse over the system. There we go. And of course, we'll have to land on some of these over here, but we'll do that in a little bit. 
Okay. Our Colossus and our army can now come in over here. Wonderful. And this is a ring world. Inhabited by primitives. That's a protectorate. That's a protectorate. Okay. So these two are inhabited by primitives. We'll need to do something about that. That's fine. In we come. We are going to, of course, land right up here on Sanctuary J. We could have jump drived over, but there's not really a point, I don't think. You can go ahead and Shine Divine it as well. I don't know what happens if this changes hands with the Shine Divine order active. That'll be interesting. Okay, where's this battle hat? Over here? Ah, that's fine. That's not a concern. These guys, however, they've bypassed us a little bit. And we actually need to deal with that. Similarly, there's these guys, but I do think that they die to this starbase. I'm pretty sure that they do. Okay, I'm quite sure that they do. They're getting one-shot by these missiles. <laughs> okay, I like it. An enemy planet has been secured. Okay, let's see what happens with the Shine Divine. Okay, it looks like it's still ongoing just fine. Wonderful. We're going to land on Sanctuary D. And then A and G are, of course, going to need to have observation posts built. So we should bring our construction ship up. Where was that? We have a construction ship around somewhere. Here. We can just jump drive it straight on in. Fantastic. Energy weapon damage, and we will deal with the energy weapon attack speed now. So it would appear that the Fallen Empire took care of the late game crisis, so we just decided to become the end game crisis. <laughs> okay, so this is currently a really awkward ring world. That's 80 housing and 20 clerk jobs. Okay. Well, we'll decide what to do with this ring world a little bit later, I think. Excellent. So at this point, we can jump drive back to a gateway location with our army. And then our army can come in over here and land on Frishaz. And the sixth combat fleet can now start pushing its way up over this direction. Technically, we want to come in via comb. That'll be fine. Okay, so we can see over here that these guys are attacking here. They may not win this. I don't really care one way or the other, I suppose. Excellent. A study has been completed. Edict duration, sure. Let's go ahead and grab army damage. Excellent. I think it's pretty clear at this point that we're the late game crisis. The real question is, does everyone else think it's clear? There's living metal there, which is always nice. A study has been completed. Okay, so we've actually already got observation posts over these. It looks like they had them previously built. We probably want to... Hang on a moment. Since when can we not covert infiltrate them? These guys are Steam Age. Okay, so they're just not far enough along in their development. These guys are Renaissance Age, so they're also not far enough along. Noted. We could, however, still Shine Divine them. And that is definitely something that I'm interested in doing. I wish that you could queue up Shine Divine orders. Alas, you can't. But we will definitely shine divine them. And we'll take these guys out. Absolutely no problem. Fantastic. Finally, this cruiser. No worries. Did that cruiser just get one shot by a Corvette laser? 
Oh my. <laughs> if that's the case, then uh, they're in trouble. I think it got one shot by a single Corvette laser. Oh yeah, you'd have to go back that way. May as well go into Landine, honestly. So we don't actually need this construction ship up here, but it's fine. Instrument of Desire. Decadence. Okay. This is fine. We need consumer goods, but uh, we've got plenty. I'm not too concerned. Okay, we've got a hostile fleet over here. And that is actually something that we're going to need to take care of. So we'll jump drive over it with this fleet. I don't want them running around in our backline. This Starhold can continue being upgraded, but we haven't... Actually, um, yeah, we'll leave it for now. This one here can also be upgraded, although we're going to want to switch this over to an anchorage for sure. Okay, we've jump-drived these guys in. Absolutely no worries. Fantastic. They're up to 23% war exhaustion right now. That's fine. Bring these guys over to here, and then they'll backtrack, come over here, and then over to Omicron Persei. Then as far as this goes over here, we will attack by Dawn. Excellent. How goes our Shine Divine over here? We're firing. That's always great. Necrophaging is continuing to happen. That is, of course, fully expected. Excellent. This war is going absolutely swimmingly. We expected nothing else, of course. Shine Divine over here is complete. And we'll get Sanctuary, eh? We should, however, be working on rapidly advancing them. Except they have to be... The mission will give them full ownership of their home system? No, that's not what we want. We would like to be advancing them. We don't need to indoctrinate because we can shine divine them. So I think we have to leave it as is until they hit the industrial age. Which is unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to continue attacking over here. As far as this over here goes, we're definitely going to hit Rulan. Excellent. Interdimensional trade is stepping up. And our army damage has come up as well. Let's go ahead and grab Edict Duration. We're at 39 out of 38 starbases right now. And I'm going to just downgrade this one. Excellent. How are we doing down over here? We've actually not managed to take this starbase back. So let's do that. Excellent. These guys are up over this way. We'll deal with them in a moment. Just as soon as we're done dealing with this fleet. Excellent. We have taken this planet and we're just going to chill up here for now. We'll finish off this outpost and we'll go and take out this fleet. Okay. Defense platform hull points finished up. Looks like we want Explosive Weapon Attack Speed next. Wonderful. How's our Shine Divine going? We are charging. We're at 80%. That is completely fine. It looks like they have left. They must have jump drived out. Fair enough. I don't necessarily blame them. So this station here is currently in Anchorage, and I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. We're going to turn around and attack Chiblar. Excellent. And that is our Flash Coolant. Let's go with Shield Harmonics. Sondon. Just now, the staff of the Science ne Nexus Physics Department simultaneously blacked out for almost 15 minutes. 
When they woke up again, physics leader Sondin was missing. His office had been upturned, his storage emptied, and his drives fried. His colleagues believe that's where he kept Dad on a personal project he was working on. Though tight-lipped about his research, it seems he was nearing a breakthrough. Several of the staff mentioned seeing a bright purple light before losing consciousness. There have been no other clues as to his whereabouts. Continue the search. That seems suspicious. That seems very suspicious. We've Shine Divined up here. Perfect. And we will get Sanctuary G next. So we can see here. Look at that. They're spiritualist. Wonderful. These guys are currently xenophobic militarists, but not for long. So we have no current physicist because our physicist is currently missing. We will, I guess, go for particles. Sure. That'll be fine. We're going to chill on attacking over here for the moment. There's Triblar. Excellent. We'll grab Ilya as well. And I wouldn't mind pushing over like this. If we have to jump drive away, that's fine. I'm not concerned. These guys are not necessary where they're at. So instead, we could back them off and potentially come down over this way or help out over here. I think we'll come up over this way. We'll also reinforce that fleet. Excellent. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we'll figure out what happened to our physicist, hopefully. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.